Let's do some arts and crafts. Today, I'm going to be adding all of my favorite art supplies into slime to see what happens. Starting off with a magic marbling art kit. Now, I haven't done one of these in probably 10, 12 years, but I remember it being extremely fun. If you've never done an art marbling kit before, basically you make art on top of water, but today I'm gonna be switching it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be using significantly more water than it suggests. Hopefully that will not <laughs> mess anything up. It probably will. But first, let me go over the instructions. It says wait about six hours for it to fully dissolve. You know what? <laughs> I don't actually think I need the instructions. I have to add these little packets to the water. I think it makes the water a bit more gelatinous, gelatinous, jello like. Okay, now the water feels very sticky and gross. I'm going to actively spin the water while I add. <laughs> Oh, I can't do it fast enough. Okay, I started off with really high hopes. They've gone down a little bit now that my water's chunky. <laughs> Let's get into creating the beautiful art. Whoa, my goodness, what? Oh, 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 oh my God, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a rainbow. This has been a lot of arts and crafts and not a lot of slime. So you might be asking yourself, Aaron, <laughs> where is the slime gonna come into this? Well, I'll tell you. You know how you're supposed to transfer it onto paper. What if I transferred it onto a slime? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten out my slime as if it was a piece of paper. Here is my paper. Ooh, the final most exciting moment, transferring it. Please work. Ooh, please work. Uh, I'm nervous. That kind of worked a little bit. It was a lot prettier before I took it out, but that's like cool tie-dye slime. Ooh, that is not cute at all. But over here, it kind of looks like Texas a little bit. This is my final creation. I'm extremely proud of it. I acknowledge that it doesn't look good, but the creation of it was extremely fun, so I think it was a win. But now it's time to play with it. So it's definitely very slimy and icky. <laughs> definitely a new smell. Hmm, it is coming out to be a nice, extremely light pink color. I'm not sure if you can even tell that the color has changed on camera, but in person, it's like a grayish pink color. It's definitely still a butter slime. So, didn't ruin my slime. It was super fun to make. So I would say this is a win, and I'm gonna give it honestly a 10 out of 10. Although it was ugly, it has a special place in my heart. The next one, I am so excited for. Next, I am going to be fulfilling every slimer slash artist ultimate dream, and I'm going to turn this entire tub of butter slime into a beautiful canvas that I'm going to paint on. Let me flatten it out. Now comes the very important part of any artist life where you have to brainstorm your masterpiece. What I'm being inspired by right now is grass. I have some green to represent that. But you know what other slime I'm kind of reminiscing on right now is one of the very first graveyard slimes I ever created, the circus. And a bunch of you guys commented that that one was hideous and I somewhat agree. Let's bring back the circus and make it a little bit better. Sit down, grab a cup of tea and paint with me. This is slime painting with Erin. Now it's time for the base of the sky. Well, I'm gonna make a very light blue sky here. <laughs> wow. When you listen to the artist inside of you, sometimes they'll tell you, put a cloud right there. I'm thinking this will be somewhat of a forest scene. So I would like to add a nice little background tree. The way that the paint is sliding across the slime is so satisfying. <laughs> that I have completed my background, it's time to add the character of this painting, which is a lion. And I can guarantee this is where the painting goes downhill. A lion would have a lot of yellow. I would assume I've never met a lion before. And there we go, our beautiful lion in the circus in the forest with a monkey in a tree. Now you have this entire painting done on your slime and you get to squish it all together. Oh, look at Mr. Monkey, he's getting so tall. <laughs> Mr. Monkey is swinging from tree to tree. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Lion. Let's make his face look a little silly. This is so cool. This is like 
like going into an art museum and your brain is just like, oh, touch, touch one of the paintings. And you're like, no, I can't do that. That's literally illegal and one of the worst things you could possibly do. But then you can just make your own painting and your brain is so satisfied. 10 out of 10, super fun thing to do. I would 100% suggest that you guys do it. Make a bunch of slime, paint on it, wear gloves when you squish it together. Just have a blast because this was so much fun. Are you ever painting on slime and you think, Gee, I sure am stressed out. Well, that's why you need Peachy Baby's de stress Dough, the perfect mix of lavender and purple that will de-stress you. Available now at peachybabies.com slash shop, restocking every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you didn't know, every Friday we've been doing restock live streams, which is a sneak peek of the restock. So if you're so excited about this week's restock and you wanna know what's in there, and you wanna talk to us live and have us play with your favorite slimes, make sure to tune in on Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard your time and I will see you there. Now let's move on to our next slime. I bring you to what looks like an ancient gathering of the glue sticks. This is a very sacred ceremony. This is widely known to be impossible to do, but with the power of these three jumbo glue sticks, I'm gonna be creating magic. Is it possible to make slime out of glue? Conceptually, Yes. All you need to make slime is glue and activator. So all of these rumors that it is allegedly impossible to make slime out of glue sticks doesn't make any sense to me. So here I am today to disprove this myth. Now I've got my grimace paste ready to go. I'm gonna go grab a little bit of activator. And by a little bit of activator, I of course mean this entire thingy full of it. I think I added too much activator, which is very interesting because typically if you added too much activator to glue, you would have rubber left over. But this is quite literally the opposite of rubber. This is milk. My prediction was that if there was glue in this, it had to have turned into slime. And that seems to be completely incorrect. Whatever is bonding this into solid shape instead of a liquid, is removing the possibility of it turning into slime. So no, you cannot make slime out of glue sticks, at least not the way that I tried. Maybe I'll try again in the future. But for now, this art slime project was a fail. Let's try our next one. Next, I have another art kit. If this video gets to 8,000 likes, I will do a video where I just do a bunch of art kits and slime and see what happens. For this one, it is a pipe cleaner art kit. If you guys have never made art out of pipe cleaners, you are really missing out because it is one of the most fun ways to make little like stuffed animals and little creatures and stuff. I'm gonna start off by making a snail because I see a little snail on here and he looks very happy and I feel like he would be happier living in this slime. Now let's make this into a little snail shell. And look at that, it already looks like a snail. So this is how long I want his eyes to be. So I'm gonna twist right here at the base and then add him onto his little shell. I definitely need to give him some eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the back of him, add his little eye on there. And here he is, my Christmas snail. His name is Paul. He's cute. I'm gonna use the rest of these pipe cleaners to make a little scene here on my clear slime. I really am excited to see what it looks like when I poke the pipe cleaner down in here into the slime. That looks really cool. It looks like a little snake. This, what I'm creating right now, is going to be my Candy jungle, of course, obviously, because that's where snails live. These are so neon bright. They're like overstimulating my eyes right now. Giant tree out here in our candy jungle. This is our beautiful giant candy tree. I feel like out of everything I've done today, this one is probably the easiest and most fun one to recreate. And look, you can see all of the roots of all of the trees. Maybe it's like a swamp or something. I don't know, but I am very excited. I'm gonna add some boulders and rocks and ground looking things. And here we go. We have the perfect little home for our Christmas snail. Oh, look who it is. A young Paul seems to have spotted the candy jungle. Hello, my name is Paul and I seem to have spotted the candy jungle. I want to make my snail house here. Da 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 da. Oh my God, it's quicksand. I can't get out. Ah! I'm gonna need a minute. Now let's see how these pipe cleaners affected our slime. I'm really excited to see how it feels to play with a pipe cleaner inside of slime. Let's squish it up here. Whoa, it's feeling very weird, honestly. It feels kind of fuzzy still, but look at how cool that looks. It is definitely very, very hard to play with. Honestly, on second thought, maybe don't try this at home because these are kind of pokey and I don't want you guys to hurt yourself. So maybe this is a better experiment left up to the slime professionals for this time. Kids, do not try this at home. 
don't do it. Well, we had quite the little adventure today, didn't we? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.